I did a little damage. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the products that I've been scoping out, shopping and purchasing during the Sephora spring sale. I picked up some Ilia, Laura Mercier, Rare Beauty, as well as Say Beauty. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. Sephora spring sale. Yes, Sephora only has sales twice a year, their holiday sale as well as their spring sale. And I've already gotten a huge jump start on it. I picked up a lot of products. I still have products in my cart and I couldn't wait to share with you all the products that I've been testing, loving, maybe, we'll see. And also brands that I'm not real familiar with that I've been testing and actually really loving. I can't wait to dive into a look and see how these products work for our mature skin. I'm really excited. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I've already got all of my skincare products on. I have my SPF on and I just need to throw on some primer. Whenever I test out new complexion products, I always go back to my tried and true primer so I know that it's not the primer and it's actually the new products that I'm testing out. But I'm just gonna be throwing on my go-to primer. It's actually drugstore, it's wet and wild. It is their Prime Focus Primer Serum that refines the pores. I'm just tapping it into my complexion so I can get a really nice smooth canvas to help blur the pores. It also has Bakuchiol and other skin loving ingredients. I rely on this primer. And in case you're new here, I have normal to dry skin. I have hyperpigmentation, redness, fine lines, and occasional dryness. So I'm gonna let the primer settle into my complexion and we're gonna talk about the first product, you guys. One of you suggested that I test this out and I was kind of leery about it because it's a stick foundation. Normally I don't go for stick foundations because I find them cakey, they don't lay smooth on the complexion, but this one really piqued my interest. And I think the last stick foundation I tested out was from Fenty, but this one is from Ilia. It is their Skin Rewind Complexion Stick. It's supposed to be weightless, firming, and smoothing. What's really cool about this particular product, it contains ceramides and peptides for plumping up the complexion. And supposedly, it's supposed to be geared towards mature skin. Okay, whatever. I think everybody, whether you're 19 or 69 years old, you want your complexion to be blurred. But let's face it, we all have texture. We all have fine lines, pores. It's just a fact of life. And it also doubles as a concealer, which I thought that was really cool. Now it retails for $48 and it comes in 42 shades, which I think is amazing. 42 shades. This is what she looks like. It's a little tube, pops off like that. And it has a really cool indentation here. So I guess for better holding, like I said, I am not a big fan of stick foundations. I think they just don't lay well on the skin. They just don't blend out smoothly. I am willing to try, I'm willing to test it out to see if it will work and lay smoothly on our skin. So this is the shade 7W Poplar and you can use your fingertips for light coverage. You can use it as a concealer. This does have medium coverage as well as a natural finish. But let's go ahead and swatch it. and you can apply it directly onto the face. Tap it in with my fingertips, just using the heat of my fingertips to really smooth it out. As far as texture and as far as creaminess, it doesn't feel that creamy. They do say to use their foundation brush. You know I'm not gonna do that. It's a synthetic brush and it's really soft. Now this is supposed to provide medium coverage. Hmm. I know I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna apply a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna use my fingertips and apply it to my forehead. Now, normally I would test out a foundation with a sponge side as well as a brush side, but since this is a really kind of thicker stick foundation, I think your best method is gonna be either with your fingertips or with a brush. And it really smoothed out on my forehead. I think I put a healthy amount of foundation on this side. Very light coverage. I'm gonna see if I can build it up on this side again. I do have to admit it's super easy to apply. Yeah, that's building up much better. My skin looks really good with this on. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Hmm. 
This is definitely smoothing. Now that we're into spring and it's gonna be going into summertime, my skin, my complexion does get oily because of all the humidity here. So I thought this would be a really good foundation to use during the summer and during those hot, humid months. And it seems to be laying really smooth over the Wet n Wild primer. <laughs> I love how I use a $8 primer with a $48 foundation stick. But if it's good, it's good. Doesn't matter how much it costs. Okay, now I'm just gonna buff that in. Make sure we have a nice, even canvas. I think if you have an oily complexion, you would really like the stick foundation because it's not super creamy. It's not as creamy as the Fenty foundation stick, but it, it really just smooths everything out. So far, so good. I'm really liking it. It's definitely medium coverage, almost bordering on light. It just depends upon how much you apply. I mean, I applied quite a bit and it doesn't look cakey or heavy whatsoever. And that's, that's really good. I'm really excited about this. For concealer, I picked up the new Save Beauty Slip Tint Radiant All Over Concealer. Now, I'll be honest with you. I do not have good luck with Save Beauty. For some reason, their complexion products just do not agree with my skin. They separate, they just don't lay well. So imagine my <laughs> trepidation when I purchased this. Now, it does retail for $28 and it comes in 24 shades. I got the shade seven. It's supposed to be a hydrating concealer that provides medium coverage. It also contains skin loving ingredients like hyaluronic acid and glycerin that we all know is fantastic for skin. And over time, it's supposed to improve your under eye area. So I couldn't wait to test it out. As you can see, standard, I mean, this component could almost pass for drugstore, just saying. But it comes with a nice little doe foot. Typically I'll go in with a color corrector, but I wanna see what type of coverage we're gonna get because this is a new concealer for me and it's supposed to provide medium coverage. And this got really good reviews. I'm gonna swatch it for you on the inside of my thumb. That's a great way to see if a concealer is gonna settle into the lines right through there. But so far it looks good. It's super light in consistency. And I'll tell you what, I tried it out yesterday and I'll be sure to give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. Make sure you stay till the end so you don't miss a thing. But yeah, this is really lightweight, really beautiful. So hopefully it'll work on my 57 under eye area. But let's go ahead and just apply tiny bit oh super thin consistency right where I need a little lifting and right where I tend to get red and I'm just gonna pop a little bit right through there to brighten up between the eyes so far I'm loving the consistency because it is even thinner than my tower 28 and even thinner than the physicians formula butter glow concealer and those are my top two favorite concealers but let's go ahead and tap it in this is just blending in so easy oh my gosh Look at that, and I think I did good in picking out a shade. Now, it's entirely up to you if you wanna go a shade lighter than your foundation to brighten up that under eye area or be a little more matching with your foundation so it's all even, but this is so pretty. I'm just gonna take whatever's left on my finger and tap it onto my eyelids. That is blending out so seamlessly, unbelievable. You almost don't need to use a sponge or a brush to tap it in. It is that easy to apply. Wow. I'm just going to go ahead and take my concealer brush and just tap it in. This definitely has the thinnest consistency. Wow. I'm really impressed so far. Okay, so far, so good. The Ilya Stick Foundation, the Skin Rewind, so smoothing, such a nice natural finish. It's gonna be summertime, it's gonna get super hot. I tend to get a little oily during the summertime because I live in such a hot and humid area of the country. I like to go a little more matte, a little more mattifying during the hot summer seasons. So my face, my complexion stays in place, but this is very promising. That Ilya looks so pretty. And as far as the Say Concealer, hydrating, dewy, super easy to blend out. Now I don't have a new bronzer. So I'm just gonna go in with the Ultra Cream Cheek Kiss Bronzer from Milani. Since this is a matte, well, yeah, a matte natural finish with the foundation stick. I just wanna add a little bit more luminosity to the skin, a little bit more juiciness and hydration, but my skin really feels hydrated anyway with the foundation. 
I wanted to see how it would play with a cream bronzer and so far it's not moving, it's not going anywhere, it is staying put. Now the next product that I picked up was blush. You know how I love blush, whether it's cream or powder. And going with the powder theme, I picked up the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh my gosh, a blush with shimmer in it or that's luminous, it's only gonna draw more attention to my texture and my pores. Honey, the second ingredient in this blush is dimethicone. It is loaded down with dimethicone, which is just another word for silicone. This retails for $26 and it comes in six shades. I picked up the shade Joy, which is a muted peach. Remember, peach is supposed to be the Pantone color of the year. If you missed that video, I will put it down in the description box below. All of the other colors, every time I would put happy or the other color, cheer, in my basket, it would be sold out. So. I thought, why not? Let's go with a beautiful peach color. What I'm gonna do is use like a little fan angled brush, and this is the BK Beauty 112. Just take a little bit and apply it, starting at right above my cheeks. Oh my goodness, this is really pretty. Now, if you are faint of heart and you don't like a shimmer blush, you may wanna steer clear from this, but I have to tell you, it just provides a beautiful luminosity and blurring. Now we have the Skin Rewind blurring foundation underneath. So we got that going, right? And this just looks so beautiful on the skin. It's almost like having a blush and highlighter all in one, but look how effortlessly this goes on. You just need a tiny bit. I definitely wanna get more shades, but I think this peach is gonna be perfect for the summertime. Look at how luminous my skin is. So complexion is looking really, really good. We've only used about four products. I love how smoothing everything is from the Ilia to the powder blush as well as the concealer. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick eye look and we're gonna jump into the new Laura Mercier Pressed Powder that's ultra blurring and I picked up a new plumping lip gloss. Okay, eye look is done. Now, I just did a really super simple neutral eyeshadow look with the new Masters Matte, the neutrals from Makeup by Mario. I know I didn't pick up any eyeshadow palettes and I know I won't pick up any eyeshadow palettes during the Sephora spring sale. It was a thoughtful process in terms of purchasing these products. I really wanted to focus on complexion products that will work for our mature skin. And so far, I'm super happy with the results, but I just did a quick eyeshadow look with the Master Mattes, the neutrals from Makeup by Mario. This is also available at Sephora. If you are that girl that loves neutrals, and you want something that's super versatile with a great color story, I highly, highly recommend this eyeshadow palette, but yeah. The next product I wanted to share with you is from Laura Mercier. Now, you know I love their loose translucent powder, but she came out with a pressed powder that's supposed to be ultra blurring. It's super pricey, I ain't gonna lie, but I figured if you purchase it during the sale, I'll get 20% off. It retails for $52 and it comes in three shades, translucent, medium, and deep, but I picked up the translucent shade, just a simple compact. As you open it up, it's got the powder puff already, and you've got a little mirror, and of course, the product right through here. It's supposed to provide light coverage, a matte finish, long wearing, hydrating, and it also contains hyaluronic acid. It's an ultra blurring, finely milled, talc free pressed powder infused with hyaluronic acid that delivers up to 16 hours of comfortable wear and shine absorption. Now, it comes with a little powder puff, as you can see. I've already tested it out, but boy, wow. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is, I'm gonna take a little bit on the powder puff, then you're supposed to tap off. And I never set my under eye area. I don't, but oh my gosh. It really smooths it out because it's ultra blurring. So I'm just gonna press right through there. And it's supposed to absorb shine and I'm just going through where my most porous areas is right through there. It's one side with the pressed powder. That's without. I'm gonna apply a little bit to the top of my forehead because I do get a little shiny on my forehead. 
Now, I'm not saying to obliterate the glow and the luminosity of your complexion, but when you live in the deep south like I do, my oils go crazy, and this is so pretty on the skin, and it is so blurring without feeling dry. I figured with a stick foundation and a pressed powder, you're just heading towards desert matte country, right? But on the contrary, it looks so good. Wow, that's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit you can roll it, you can press it right through there. And just think how easy it'll be to bring it along in your purse. I love their translucent powder, but this is the way to go. That is so pretty. Shoot, put it everywhere. This is so good. Now, the last product I picked up is a plumping lip gloss. After last week's debacle with the Maybelline Lifter Plump Gloss, I'm ready to try one that's not gonna hurt so much. So I actually picked up a Sephora brand. It is their Outrageous Plump Hydrating Lip Gloss, and it retails for $13. I think that Maybelline was like $12.99, so if you think about it, wow, you're paying the same amount for Maybelline and the Sephora collection. Now this comes in six shades, like I said, it retails for $13. I got the shade two, which is XL Nude. And with the Sephora sale going on, all Sephora beauty products are 30% off. So yeah, I love how it's packaged. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And you can see the shade right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and line my lips really quick. And I'm just going in with the my favorite, the e.l.f. Cream Glide Lip Liner in the shade Mauve Side. I was looking for my Natasha Denona lip liner. I think Ava jacked it, but this is just to give my lips a little bit more definition. Now, I really like this shade because it's kind of a neutral, cool tone shade with no shimmer. Let's just pray it's not painful. Oh, this still foot's neat because it hugs your lips. And here we are with the final look. What do you think? The Ilya Skin Rewind Complexion Stick. Remember, it retails for $48. It comes in 42 shades. I'm in the shade 7W, which is light with warm undertones. I just don't care for stick foundations. They just don't lay smooth on my complexion. They tend to get cakey. They just don't ugh, have that same quality as like a liquid foundation or a serum foundation. However, I found this one beautiful on the skin. It's funny because yesterday I was testing it out and Matt and Ava both said, wow, your skin looks really smooth. They never say that to me. They're like, wow. I love how it's not cakey. I love how smoothing it is. And I love how you can just tap it in or use a brush. It is absolutely beautiful on the skin. Now let's talk about the Save Beauty Slip Tint All Over Concealer. This is so hydrating, especially for my dry under eye area. I love the consistency. I loved how super thin it is. You can easily blend it out with your fingertips. Now remember, it does contain hyaluronic acid as well as glycerin, which is amazing skincare products that's just going to continue to hydrate and treat that under eye area. So I love it and I don't like Save Beauty products. But no, beautiful. And then the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush in the shade Joy. I think it's beautiful. I know some of us don't like luminous blush products, but this one just really is blurring because remember the second ingredient is dimethicone. So you're gonna get that shimmer, that luminosity, but it's really blurring on the skin as well. It is so pretty, super lightweight, fun pops of color. I definitely wanna pick up more shades, but really impressed with that blush. And let's talk about the Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Talc-Free Waterproof Translucent Pressed Setting Powder. I have not been so impressed with a pressed powder, pressed, impressed with a pressed powder in a very long time. This is beautiful. It is blurring and the fact that it's waterproof, we're heading into summertime. This is gonna be perfect to throw into your purse for touch-ups. It is so blurring and so finely milled. It just makes your skin look so smooth and so pretty. I don't wanna say poreless, because everybody has pores, but it is, I don't know what it is, it just looks so smoothing and so blurring on the complexion, even it's beautiful. Now remember, it is pricey, it is $52, it comes in three shades, I'm in the shade translucent, I'm not that oily. I have normal to dry skin, but this doesn't dry out my complexion. And remember, it contains hyaluronic acid. It's just got this weird ability to blur your pores, hydrate your skin, but also make it look 
beautiful. I am so impressed with this product. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. And if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. But for now, mwah. Mahal kita. I love you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Relax your